week, another Arkansas football recruiting report. Jacob Morris alongside Otis Kirk to talk some Hogs recruiting and Another big week for Arkansas, Otis, and we start with another SEC guy coming to Arkansas. Miguel Mitchell, a safety out of Florida, 24 appearances for the Gators, eight starts, and another quality SEC experience add to that secondary for Arkansas. Yeah, this kid, this kid is big, uh, uh, Jacob. He's 6'1", 215. He told me that a lot of schools wanted him as a linebacker, you know, felt like he could play linebacker, but he said he's a safety. But he's got man, I tell you what, he is big. He he's what six one two fifteen, but I mean that's legit. But he looks even bigger than that. I mean he's he's an SEC uh, caliber safety as far as side. Well, I mean you know he's obviously played in the SEC with Florida, but yeah, this kid uh, just kind of a late pickup. I mean he. He visited when the when the other like those three kids that committed that Friday. Uh, he visited when they did, so it's not like a late addition. It was just that he took some other visits and 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 waited a little while before he made the announcement. But he was in that group of uh, visitors with the kid from Albany, you know, the kid from South Alabama, and the uh, Utah running back. They were all here together. And, but he went to uh, he he had been to Memphis. He went to Tulane. He uh, LSU was interested, and then after he made his Louisiana trips, he uh, decided to call the Hogs. And so another midterm addition that that puts them at uh, only four kids are not coming at midterm. Uh, they're all obviously high school kids. Thirteen out of the portal, seventeen high school kids, and uh, thirteen of them from the. High school ranks will be at mid or will start class uh, Tuesdays when classes start. Dr. King's birthday is tomorrow, holiday, obviously. And so there'll be no classes, but Tuesday they will be. And, and those kids, uh, 26 new kids at midterm. Uh, that's scholarship kids. Now, there are some wide, I mean, wide receiver. There are some walk ons that will be in that. They're coming too. And we're, I know we're getting ready to talk about one of them. Exactly. Yeah, preferred walk-on. Let's just move right into it. Timothy Don, uh, an O-lineman from Baylor. He uh, played under Coach Mateos there. Arkansas adds him again as a preferred walk-on guy. So not scholarship, but he had a whole lot of offers coming out of coming out of high school, three years of eligibility remaining. Kind of an interesting ad for that offensive line. That's a, that's a very good ad. Uh, he, I, I'm kind of like him like I am the uh, receiver from A&M. Uh, you know, that Bobby coached down there with the Aggies. You know what you're getting. Eric knows exactly what he's getting. You know, this kid was a three-star out of Camden Fairview. Uh, did was on scholarship at Baylor. I want to make that clear. And they beat Kansas, Kansas State. Uh, you know, Arizona State, uh, Missouri. Uh, Baylor, Eric and Baylor beat some good schools to get Timothy out of high school. I actually saw him at, at a monster camp in Maumel, uh Jacob. Uh, went going into right. Prior to his senior year, he attended a monster camp at, uh, I believe that's what it was called, monster camp. It was a football camp, combine deal down in Maumel High School. And I went to that, and he was there. And uh, he looked good. I interviewed him and did a story. I, I don't, I'm i sure the story is somewhere in the archives here, but uh, uh, he's a good player. 6'2", 306, will be a center. But as I said, the biggest thing about him is, uh, when you get a scholarship player at another school as a preferred walk-on, but you're also getting someone that the coach who will coach him knows exactly what he's getting in Timothy, you know. So that was a good pickup for the Hogs. And, uh, you know, anytime you can get a, a scholarship caliber player, I guess the way to describe it, as basically for free, uh, that's that's the way to – I mean, that's a great way to go. And uh, – I think before he's finished here, he can help the Razorbacks on the offensive line. You know, he played some at Baylor, and, uh, you know, like I said, he was young at Baylor. He, Arkansas will get his older years, more, you know, a kid. When he came out of Fairview, Camden Fairview, it was known that he'd be more of a player his maybe his second, third, fourth, third and fourth years, fifth years down the road. I don't think anybody expected him to go to Baylor and start immediately. He wasn't – he wasn't – that type and most offensive linemen aren't but he's someone that i feel like especially mm -hmm. even if not this year 24 then certainly 25 and 26 i feel like and I, i'm not saying he can't help 24 but I, I really expect him to make a move in 25 and 26 to really 
uh, show what he can do. Yeah, and that three years of eligibility, you get a guy like that. Not only does Coach Mateos know him, like you said, but there's potential for him to grow, and you'll see what you have in the coming years after that. But let's move to high school now. A big defensive line prospect for Arkansas, Anthony Kennedy at a Little Rock Southwest. Class of 2026 guy. Otis, I know you're all over this. This is a guy who's picked up a Georgia offer already, picked up an Auburn offer. This is a high-quality, high-quality prospect for Arkansas, and somebody the Hogs are certainly looking that 66 265 they had a prospect day yesterday jacob and he was here uh in fact they got lucky with the weather because there was some talk that looked like maybe thursday and friday you know a lot of people might cancel out on it but the weather gave them a little bit of, i mean it was cold but it gave them a break and uh he made it in from little rock and uh you know i think most of the kids made it in uh but he uh he is, yeah, young. He was one of three kids they offered yesterday, but 6'6", 265. Uh, as you said, he's got SEC offers, Missouri, Georgia, Auburn. He got uh, UNLV has offered him recently. And so Arkansas is jumping into the mix. And uh, he's the type of kid you got to start keeping at home. Um, can't let – they kept Charlie Collins at home. You can't let defensive linemen leave the state. You just can't because those kids, kids like Anthony Kennedy don't grow on trees. And uh, he was one of three kids at least that I know of. That I, I know of three that got offered, but possibly somebody else did, but but I know of three. And three and the other two are from Jinx High School. Man, that powerhouse over near Tulsa, Jinx High School. I mean, it's <laughs> nationally renowned high school. I mean, they, they turn out. That's the thing, and we've talked about it on this show before. If that that area over there, Tulsa area. I mean, you've got Booker T, Owasso, uh, Broken Arrow, Tulsa Union, and Jinx are five schools that, if you only recruited those five schools, it'd be worth your time to go to Tulsa. And, and there's other schools over there, but uh, he's uh, two kids from Jinx. They're they're young too. Uh, that was kind of the theme yesterday. Most of these kids were pretty young, but he's, uh, uh, I don't know if Arkansas is ready for another Batman, but <laughs> you know, they have Batman Carroll, but Caden Jones, his nickname is Batman and a uh, running back six foot one eighty, a 2026 kid from Jinx. Um, he's got nine offers. All the Oklahoma schools have offered him Jacob OU, Oklahoma state Tulsa. He's got, Obviously, uh, Kentucky offer from the SEC, and then he's got offers outside of the SEC as well. Uh, so he's got uh, nine offers in all, and uh, he's going to keep getting more. And the other kid was uh, Samar uh, Stan- Stanford, and he, he uh, that was his first offer yesterday. Uh, he's a 27 kid. Uh, 5'11", 173. I don't even know what position he'll play. Uh, he's an athlete. I mean, he plays – he can play. He's five eleven, one seventy three. He plays linebacker, running back, defensive back. He's everything on the football field. And don't, got some time, you know. But obviously, Arkansas, and, and it's just the first of many offers to come. The schools will find, and and it may be that all the schools don't like him for the same position. You know, it's just possible that you know Arkansas could want him for one, and maybe OU for something else, and you know, and on and on. So it's not. I don't know where he'll play in college. He's real young. He's got plenty of time to decide that. But he's a very good athlete and just another one in the long line of the Jinx Trojans over there. They turn them out. Um, very good high school. And so that is, uh, you know, it's good to jump in there, get in early. Arkansas was the ninth offer for uh, Batman. But, uh, you know, and Batman told me he'd come on this segment with me at you know, later on, I, I didn't today, but I, I, he told me any time, so I'll get him on here and let fans, you know, he's got a good personality, um, hey, his stud running back and, uh, could play other positions, but I think, I mean, Jimmy Smith's recruiting for running back. And I think that's what the main school, majority of the schools will want him as a running back, you know, but, uh, as I said, he's got good offers. All of the Oklahoma schools have offered him and, uh, you know, so, We'll see how that works out for Arkansas. Got an uphill battle fight to get him, but uh, he was interested enough. There was about three or four of those Jinx kids came yesterday. Uh, there was a couple of other, one or two others came that didn't get offered, but uh, but were with these kids. So Jinx, 
showed Arkansas a little bit of love yesterday. And that's a great school to have, <laughs> for them to be showing you love because they're always going to have talent, man. They're not – that school never runs out of talent. And uh, and Arkansas jumped in there for two of them yesterday. I like the idea that you mentioned. What if a school just, you know, recruited solely in that area? I think you could still field a pretty darn good roster. So good to make inroads there, right? It'd be worth your time to go to Oklahoma just for the, to Tulsa. I mean, just for those five schools. I mean, you got Booker T, Felix Jones, God knows other players, uh, Watso Keon Hatcher, you know, Tulsa Union, you've had players, you know, uh, uh, Broken Arrow, you've had players here at Arkansas, and then Jinx, you've had players. I mean, those five schools are talent rich. They're traditionally good. They're well coast. They're well coast, and they're they just turn out kids. I mean, you could go in that area, and that's not even counting like other schools in that city, but just those five schools right there in that little area. There's talent there, and it's always going to be there. And that's why if I was coach, I'd have a recruiter recruiting that area, maybe add Oklahoma City and other parts of Oklahoma to it, but I would certainly hit those five high schools every year because they're worth the, it's very much worth your time. They uh they just uh turnout prospects and, and as i said they're well coached so what keon hatcher did at arkansas see what felix jones did at arkansas eric bennett did at arkansas you know it's just been it's just there's just so much talent over there and not just arkansas but they, these kids have gone to other schools and did well and and stuff and um they're well coached and just somebody i mean it's just an area that that it's you can hit all five high schools in one day because it's right they're right there, you know, within a small area of each other. In fact, I I went over there one time and I hit three of them, three of them in one day. I hit Union, Jinx, and Wasso in all three in one day, and saw kids and talked, interviewed them, and took pictures and watched watched uh, a Wasso practice. I ended up watching a Wasso practice. I may have, I might have even gone to Broken Arrow that day too, but I know I went to those three because I ended up at Wasso the last one because I went to Jinx earlier and and uh, you know and in Union, but I saw Keon Hatcher practice and really impressed it. And uh, Wasso's got a defensive back. Uh, he's a younger kid, uh, twenty six, I believe, maybe twenty seven, Jacob, but uh, he's a kid that's been here to Arkansas for a few visits and someone he's, uh, that's someone that. Definitely we'll keep an eye on over there is you know Wasso. It's got some more talent on the way. But you know, uh anyway, that's that's some good area and it's so easy to hit those schools all in a matter of hours. Yeah, why not when it's that close? Heck of an area might as well keep making inroads there. But you mentioned obviously, you know, those kids coming in for the prospect day in the past couple of days. What are you hearing on a couple of upcoming prospect days and what does Arkansas have to look forward to in that regard? Yeah. Yeah, you got one. The next two Saturdays will be prospect days. Hopefully the weather cooperates with Sam and the coaches over there. Um, you know, uh, they'll have one Saturday and then the following Saturday. After that, I'm not sure. Uh, well, you'll have a, some dead periods starting there for a while. So that may be the last one for a while. May 27th might be the last one till closer to spring football starting, but I'm not sure about that, but it would jump over to March because there'll be a, some dead period coming up in, after some of these. But, uh, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to see Arkansas pull in a commitment or two out of these uh, next two junior day or prospect days. But the biggest thing is it's just they're you're getting them on campus. And next Saturday, they've got a basketball game. I don't know about the 27th, but I know next Saturday, South Carolina here – is here for, and I want to say it's a noon tip-off, Jacob. I think Maybe so. wrong. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a noon tip-off. So they will probably have the kids, if they want to, go to that game. So, you know, I mean, and the biggest thing is you're getting kids here. They're seeing the coaches. I've got a story on Tate Spray from Center Point on the website this morning. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to a couple others later on this afternoon, but before the football game starts. But, but, uh, the biggest thing you're getting on here, they're meeting the coaches. Like, okay, all these offensive linemen, they got to meet Eric Mateus yesterday, you know, uh, Tate Spray, uh, the Glaze kid, Parker Glaze from Benton, uh, Evan Goodwin from uh, Pulaski Academy. They're younger kids, but they got to interact with Coach Mateus. Uh, 
you know, so it's just big. You get them on campus. They see the facilities. They get, they love that. All those kids love that photo shoot they do over there. You know, you can check out X, their X, not Twitter, but X, check that out and we'll see their photo shoots on most of the kids. They all tell me how much they love that. They have fun with that. And it, it's big to put on that Arkansas jersey for these kids. Like Tay Spray told me, he said, man, that's, I've dreamed of that, you know? I've dreamed of that. And uh, that's what an offer would mean to me. He doesn't have one yet. He may not get one. He may or may not get one. But I'm just saying, that means a lot to those kids putting on that jersey. And uh, you saw Kendy with the jersey on. And uh, if you were on his twi uh, ex, and uh, it's just big. But that that's the biggest thing. You get them on campus. You get They get their meet these coaches they get to interact with them they get to see the facilities you get to see kind of the atmosphere around the program and uh you know and just it's, it's a if you don't you don't get every kid you get on campus but if you don't get them on campus you won't get them you know for sure and you're not going to get every kid that comes on campus and you don't even on these deals not all of them like, not all of them even have offers but the biggest thing is you know, you never know. Some of these kids might be preferred walk-ons like Timothy Don one day, you know, you never know. I mean, not everybody has to be a four or five star kid. So to, you know, have interest in, you know, who not, who not, might be the next uh, Grant Morgan, the next Brendan Burlesworth, and, you know, you, so it, you, you never, you always enjoy bringing kids on your campus because you just never know who the next kid might be. The next Grant Morgan may be coming up here, you know, walk on. It turns into basically an all-American type linebacker. So that's, what, you know, a Hayden Henry. So, you know, everybody knows Hunter Henry and, you know, and stuff. But Hayden Henry had a very good career here, a very good leader. Boy, his leadership, his he and Grant Morgan's leadership were off the off the charts. And and I think Arkansas missed that some with the leadership. And so it doesn't always have to be your five-star player being your great leader. It can be a guy that some of these kids are just natural born leaders. So it's why I said it's important to get all these kids on campus, not just the ones that we talk about that they offered, but the, uh, the uh, take sprays, all these kids, you just never know who might develop later on and be the next star that nobody knew about in high school. Exactly. I mean, you never know what's going to happen next season, right? All of a sudden, somebody could flash that you had on campus this past season, and that relationship ends up paying off. But that's going to do it for this week's Arkansas Football Recruiting Report. Thanks, as always, Otis, and we'll be back next week.